27th of May, I believe. And the wind is blowing pretty wild, which is kind of good because it's uh, going to help to dry up the wet spots in the field after the big rains we had. I started in yesterday evening seeding here and some places are ridiculously wet but I'm making a little bit of dust this morning another 40 50 acres and I should wrap it up on this quarter I just spent about an hour and a half lunch break researching phoning I've got a little problem here you wouldn't know it to look at it now it's all dried up but uh, after that sits overnight it's all wet and fuel running off actually running down the side of the engine block after it starts up and runs gets up to operating temperature it pretty much dries up and is fine but I figured rather than push my luck I would order a new one $590 from the States next week so hopefully this one will keep me going we just had two nights in a row that were I don't think it froze last night here, but the night before it froze enough that some of those early potatoes, the leaves are actually showing damage from the frost. Okay, time to roll. Pretty tight fitting through there inches to spare on each side without touching the roof of either of those buildings with the, uh, the wheels co-op still hasn't picked up their anhydrous tank for the final fill and that's okay actually dry last week before the rain not that I'm complaining about the rain because without it we wouldn't be growing much says rear auger what's happening here is planting canola the auger turns so slow that the sensor determines that it's stopped turning 
therefore you get a false reading. So what you got to do is look way back through the dust and see if you can see the little handles turning on the uh, sprocket uh, nut. Looks good. So here we are on the 9th of June, almost two weeks after the first part of this video was shot. Canola seeds all in the ground and in fact I believe most of it is up and growing pretty good. It's uh, got off to a good start and as you can see in this drone video it's uh, looking kind of damp out there. We actually had a good two and a half inches of rain last night or 70 millimeters if you prefer the metric system. It was a pretty good rain. It's going to do a lot of good. Perfect timing for the oats and forage mix I seeded about three days ago. It should get everything off to a good start and uh, the stuff that's already up and growing it will be taken off real good. You can see a bit of water showing up in this overhead view. Those spots already had water in them from uh, years ago now. They never did dry up but there's an awful lot of ground I can recognize there that has been underwater for the past few years but is now dry and planted and growing crops. We are a little bit better off than we have been in the past few springs. Anyway, I'm rambling on long enough here. We've got enough uh, to look at for one video, I think. We're going to call it a day. So thanks for watching and uh, hit the thumbs up button. I guess I'll be back with another one.